there may be a lot of work going on at the Orville Dam, but downstream in the city of Orville, city council members are making demands. The city sent this letter to the Federal Energy Regulatory Commission. It reads in part, this disaster is one of the worst nightmares any elected official could imagine for their community. The Federal Commission licenses hydroelectric projects. The agency is currently reviewing the state's license for the dam. So DWR Aaron right Mellon is, is spokesperson for the State Department of Water Resources, or DWR. The priority for DWR is to reconstruct the spillway to ensure that we can safely handle flows um, this year and for many years to come. And that's a public safety concern. But among the city of Oroville's demands, a federal oversight hearing more input from local authorities, and a delay in the renewal of the dam operating license until the forensic team has determined the root cause of the spillway failure. The city council wrote, the extreme danger and burden of flood water is shouldered by our disadvantaged communities alone. We view this as a social, economic, and environmental justice issue that must be addressed. Water Resources says the state is working on some of the issues raised. We absolutely want to keep the lines of communication open with the community and ensure that we're understanding their concerns and that we're providing feedback. We'll continue to do that. The city is also asking for specific safety features, such as an audible warning system, repairs to levees damaged last winter, a new release gate for emergency flows, and the widening of evacuation routes to handle more cars. Features the city argues could save lives if there are any more problems with the dam.